All right, can I be heard? Let's test the audio. Can we hear you? I do hear you. Good. Sounds like we are. All right, and chat will let us know otherwise. All right, all righty. So it'll be a bit of a short, shorter session tonight. Uh, work has kicked everyone's butts today, and then I had to set up a, a new overlay, which is beautiful. I Sneeze Stars did a great job on it. Um, we are entering the second arc of this campaign. Um, when we last left off, our unfortunate adventurers, um, found themselves cornered in the bowels of a archdevil's, uh, castle. And after a heated battle with one of their own, who turned out to be some sort of demon thing, um, they pursued it into a portal on the other side of which were mysterious grassy trees, which for those of you who have been following us, there are no trees, no grass of any type or vegetation of any type on this continent that they are currently shipwrecked on. It is completely mutated into an infernal realm of death, despair, and destruction. Mm -hmm. So, when we last left off, they were popping out on the other side. Uh, meanwhile, Sir Wellington and Abigail had just arrived at the base of this very castle to see if the potential allies they saw from afar needed their help, quite unaware that those same people had just fled through a portal to another realm. So, without further ado... Uh, I turn it over to you, Lot. Um, let's start with, um, let us start with Marcus in these new, this new realm. Okay. Yep, so I, if I remember correctly, I jumped in after the girl just went in there. I'm like, no, wait! <laughs> right. Okay. So I assume I'm through the portal at this moment. How is it looking around? Um, Uh, give me a perception check. All right. Uh, that is a... Uh, kind of wants to think. There it is. That is a 14. All right. Uh, you don't know where you are. This, you're, you're very disoriented. Um, the kid is right in front of you. Uh, you are surrounded by lush green forest. Uh, there are birds singing. There are lots of vibrantly colorful flowers everywhere. Um, and the grass is about knee high and kind of soft, almost like, uh, brushing up against, um, suede leather i guess would be the best description or like okay. whenever you have those like really really soft ferns it's kind of how the grass blades feel like okay so seeing as how i can actually do this spell now and not have a go haywire i'm going to cast detect good and evil and let's see yeah just if there's aberration celestial Elemental, Fey, Fiend, or Undead within 30 feet. I uh, 
you know it as well as the creature what where the creature is located and if is there anything magically consecrated or desecrated so within 30 feet uh no neither uh n neither consecrated nor desecrated in here okay and no sort of apparition celestial elemental fey or feigned or undead Oh, one of those is um. One of those is pinging off the charts. What were the list? What was the list again? Uh, aberration, celestial, elemental, fey, fiend, undead. Yeah, no, fey is pinging off the charts. Oh shit! I know where we are. No. <laughs> Oh, no. No. So, would Marcus be able to figure out where they are then, based hey, on that? Give me a religion check. Uh, okay. I do not like this. I do not like this at all. Oh, no. By the no, way, when no, you no, look no, around, no. the portal is just gone behind you. People seem to be just popping out of thin air. Okay. So Sorry, on, on just, this side, there up. is no portal behind you. Uh, that is a religion. 21. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're in Phalia. So, <laughs> and you're... I, yeah, how, I guess, what role would it be to know? To see how much Marcus knows about the Fae. That would be a religion check. Okay. That is a 22. He knows a decent amount. Um, what are the do's and don'ts of the Fae? Um, right, a go. general it's... layout of, of Phalia. And the different regions within. As well as the various... Uh, Archfey that rule over each realm. Okay, let me just see the Fey rules really quick. Thank you, Selkie, for that. There we are. Okay. Just so, um, what's his name? Marcus, I almost forgot my hero's name. Uh, can have that. All right. So he's going to. Like, look around, realize where the hell he is. And, and does it seem like everyone is there, or does it seem like there's still people uh, coming? I don't know. Did Callie and uh, Dahlia also hop through? Yeah, Dahlia did. All right. Oh, yeah. Did Callie was Callie... like, I, I, no, Callie yeah. was very much like, I'm out of here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So Callie did. Okay. Yes. Everyone is there. Okay. So. He's going to, like, look around, see, like, that's, that's bright. All right, just, uh, and he's going to hold on to his amulet and cast that. And then he's going to just, <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, 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 all right, uh, everyone, everyone, I need you to gather around right now. We are, oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, hell no. The one place we didn't want to be besides Gashao, now we're right here. All right, everyone, I need you to come closer. I need to tell you all some very important rules for being here. Uh, everyone, uh, actually, roll a persuasion check. Okay. Oh, mother trucker, that is a nat 20. <laughs> okay, uh, do, do Callie and Dahlia come over as well? Why are you asking okay. me to control Callie? I'm asking, I'm asking, Selkie? Selkie's in the chat. I'm talking to Selkie. <laughs> okay. You know, so 24 yeah. overall, but I did get it at 22, so. Uh, yeah, yeah, you get everyone's attention. Even the mischievous younger kids, the the handful that survived being incinerated, um, oh, perk up and, and come over and are like, uh, what, you know, like one was about to pick a flower and she was just like, hmm. Okay. He's going to look at the, no, 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 don't touch, don't touch, do not touch anything, do not pluck anything uh we are how Plucker. many how many of you know what 
failure is. By a show uh, of hands. A handful of hands go up. Actually, most of the hands go up. Like, most people have heard of it, but they have no idea beyond that. Okay, so for those that don't know or do have... It's, it's like asking a Christian who here know. It's like asking a Chris, Christians in a church, who here has who do, heard of Judaism? Everyone okay, raises fair. their okay. hands, but they don't know nothing. So <laughs> they just hear the name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he is going to look and go, All right. Uh, for those of you that may need to be caught up to speed, him fully knowing that these people probably do not remember a thing. <laughs> uh, Sorsha probably knows. We are in Phalia, and that means we are kind of in the homeland of the Fae. Now, the Fae, yes. What does that mean? That means we have to be super careful. Okay? Why? Because Fae are, uh, how do I say this without scaring them? Uh, Fae are... Tricksters, well, hello, not... young one. May I have your name, please? <laughs> Why? No, no. <laughs> because uh, they like to mess around with more. Now, Why? They're... Believe me, I, I wish I knew. It, it, it's just fun. But anyway, this so is So I can't important. do this, and he pucks, plucks a flower. <laughs> no! No, 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 don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Not at all. He not... gently lowers it down. The stalk that it was growing on turns a deep crimson, and he just looks at it nervously, and he sets it back towards it, and it kind of just reattaches the flower to the stalk, and then goes back to green. Okay, no, so we he are not doing that anymore. inching away from it. Okay, so yeah, that, we don't do that. You're right. This is a very, very, very dangerous place for mortals. Now, there are rules that we have to follow. Number one, anyone outside this group, we do not tell them our names, our full names, all right? Because if we do that, the fae or, well, the person, which is presumably a fae, will be able to control us. And we don't want to be controlled. We don't want to be told what to do, right? And he points to, the, he says it specifically to the unruly kids, right? They all just kind of like nod slowly. Okay. So, do not give anyone your full name. Do not do that. Number two. Do not accept any food from a fae. Do not do that. It will cause you to be charmed by them. Number three, do not say thank you because that means you will owe the fay, but do not be rude. Otherwise, they may turn into a hat or worse. It depends. Uh, I'm trying to think. Trying to think. Uh, no names. Don't eat the food. Don't say thank you. Don't be rude. And no, you can't say thank you or no thank you. You just can't give them a direct answer. You just have to sort of not weasel because that sounds a little bit bad. You have to finesse your way out of the situation. All right? So we're all going to stick together. And... Does Marcus know a way to get out of here by chance? No. You think you can leave the Fey realm? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, one of our characters has done it before. But anyway, uh, he's going to play gonna, shift. <laughs> he's going to go. He's going to look towards like the more magically inclined of the group and go. You guys don't have a way for us to all get the hell out of here, do you? A lot of heads shake no. Oh, right, right, right. Hold on. One more thing. Thank you, Selkie. I forgot about that. <clears throat> if you hear music, no, you do not. You do not hear music. You do not go toward the music. You do not hear any singing. 
that is them trying to lure you. So again, no full names, no in the food, no saying thank you because you will owe them a debt. Do not accept the food, but do not be rude and do not listen to any sort of singing or music because they will try and lure you. We all good with that? You have a chorus of heads nodding in various levels of uncomfortably nervous. Yes. All right. Um, all right. Let me, let me just think. Let me just think. Uh, da, 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 I am. And he's gonna like just file a thing. Just uh, can can I have someone just? All right, we just keep an eye out. I'm gonna have to do something really quick. Uh, I'm gonna hate Lisa. Uh, so I'm already tuckered out already. But uh, all right, let's do this. And he is going to uh get on his knees, and he is going... What is that spell name again? I always keep forgetting what it is. Not angry. Uh... Oh! Wait! I'm a 10th level cleric! Divine... I can try and do Divine Intervention. Or Divine... What is it, what is it called? Uh, hold on. Divine something. Yeah, Divine Intervention. Uh, so, as an action, you can request your deity's aid and roll percentile die. If it rolls less than 10, your deity intervenes. And, of course, DM chooses the nature of the intervention. Uh, if successful, you can't use it again for seven days. Otherwise, you can use it again after a long rest. Okay. So, he is going to briefly, because it's an action, uh, just kneel down and make sure people are watching around to make sure nothing's happening. And he is going to specifically do pray to Allie and go, Allie, we're in a little bit of a tight spot right now. We are in Fela, and I do not think we have a way out. If you can please, please help us to get out of here, I would definitely appreciate it. If not, I will try and find a way, but it would be very much appreciative if you could do that. And I am going to roll on this because I cannot read actual <laughs> uh, die. So let me just. Okay. Uh, D100. Yeah, no, that does not work. What did it roll? Uh, I rolled a 71. Uh, yeah, no, you hear a dial tone. Okay. <laughs> He's gonna you, wait for a moment. You hear really shitty elevator music. <laughs> Please. Oh, yes, that. Ah, All right. You hear, uh, you hear the Wii, the, the me menu when you're that, on the Wii. That is great. Yeah. Okay. He's going to immediately uh, try that advanced uh, augury and try and communicate with her straight. And he'll go, uh, Allie... Because, you know, when you just tried to ring her up, it didn't work. So let's let's just try doing the stalker method. Yeah. Marcus is definitely doing the stalker method right now. Uh, Allie, can you, can you hear me? Uh, I just need a little bit of advice if you can't teleport us out of there, because I kind of got some weird music. I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> but, uh... It almost I, sounded like hey music. Oh shit. Uh everyone, cover your ears right now. <laughs> Dahlia Callie, that means you too. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, please tell me a way out of here. I I we need to find a way out of here. Please. Callie please. is dancing to the music. Uh, no, 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 Callie. Actually, you no, know no. what? I'm going to roll. Uh, doggone it. I feel like I should have Selkie roll. Selkie, if you want to, you can roll a wisdom save for well, no, no. Callie. <laughs> Wait, does that mean I have so to I can too? See. No, you got yours covered. 
Oh, but, yeah, because I'm trying to... So he said dance party as, as um, Callie's reaction, so... No, 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 no. Dahlia, please stop Callie from dancing. Oh, no, 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 no. Callie, oh please, please, I will do whatever you want. We just need to get the hell out of here right now. Please. You get, you got nothing. Allie? Callie Adne? Hold on. Uh, can you think of any other causes I start praying to? He's just going to list off the whole pantheon at this point. <laughs> so, as you continue to... Well, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Kelly, what now? <laughs> I am so scared. What did she say? <laughs> Oh, Callie. Oh, no, no, no. He wasn't saying Callie's odd. He was calling Callie Adne, one of the goddesses. Callie a bit odd, <laughs> Oh, thank you, Selkie, for tagging the rules. Yeah, I think I got it. Don't eat food from a very never tell faithful name. Oh, a uh, little bit of a re track. He will go. Now, do we have any honey? Because honey is a weakness. If we anyone has honey and Faye tries to chase us, Toss it, because the fae will try it honey. and chase the honey. Ironically, yes. Okay, but now back He's to the so... current current situation. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying that now. No, that was an add-on. Because okay. Marcus is smarter than me. It was just like he communicated yeah, yeah. the honey. Role. Gotcha. Yeah. So as you guy, as you're sitting there praying to a variety of deities, can you make a perception check for me? Oh, no. Oh no! I don't want the net. I don't want the net twenty on this. Oh, you did. <laughs> There's a twenty-five. Great. I'm so scared. Yeah, a lot of people have wandered off after the sound of the music. No, 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 no. And you smell cookies. No. Bacon. No. no, no. Freshly no. baked. No. That no, no, gooey, no, delicious no, no, chocolate no, chip cookie. No. No. No, no Marco. No. 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 no, no. <laughs> No. You know the guy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm so worried. No. I mean, Don't work Marcus your is... alliances. Marcus is worried. I'm just, I'm like, oh no. No. <laughs> no, 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 That is fae food. No. Hey, 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 you, you, come back here. And he's going to just start grabbing people and just pulling. No, no. Tight circle, everyone. Tight circle. Yeah, Just like the buffalo. You, yeah, you're going to have to chase after some that have disappeared into the shrubbery. <laughs> okay. Uh, can, can someone please put up a wall to get the rest of them safe in there? What the hell? We can't hear you because you told us to cover our ears. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> and he... <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> so while while Marcus is panicking, let's pa 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 pan pan oh. pan that hurt. Uh, pan oh over my to gosh. Abigail Ow. and Sir Wellington as you guys and your little party uh, have made your way to the foot of the Jesus. castle <laughs> via okay. teleportation. Okay, so it's up there, right? Yep. Oh, okay. Gosh. Okay, so we need to go up there. Um, what what castle is this? Out of curiosity, no. Okay, I, I I just don't know how many castles there are here. I know that there's a castle I need to go to. I just don't remember what like I don't know which castle it is, and I don't know how many castles there are in this area. Uh I'm sorry. Which wh what do you mean? Which castle do you need to go to? I don't know. There's just some. There's just there's just a castle. I I was told I need to go to because I, I he pulls out the he pulls he pulls out this like ruby. He goes. I just have this here. I need to throw at something in there. And he shoves it back in his bag. Okay. Um. Well. Tell you what. Uh, 
we can scout it out. Yeah, that definitely sounds concerning. Um, what exactly did you need to throw the ruby at? Hey, I think I think it's some sort of portal or something like that. I don't know. Throwing a ruby at a portal. That's an interesting thing to do. Okay. Uh, let's... My my friend said that the, it's a it's a not a good portal because it is not good for things to be able to go through and uh, it needs to close and so I need to close it. Oh, all right. Um, well, let's find a way up then. Uh, can I get investigation checks from both of you? Okay. Yeah. Out of character, I don't remember why we decided to go here. <laughs> uh, because you had seen. There, there Someone banish an archdevil, banish? archdevil, and you decided you wanted them on your team. Okay. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. So that that's very twenty-two. Twelve. Twenty-two. Not bad. See, I rolled a twelve. I have a plus ten to investigation. Hey, yo. Nice. All right. <clears throat> very well. No problem. Um. Ah. Itchy, itchy. Uh, da, 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 da. 22. So with the 22, as you're kind of looking, you notice there's a section of rock that seems to be just a little bit more inlaid than the rest of it. Sir Wellington walks up to it and points out, goes, what's this? Um, let me see. And, and uh, Albarian will come over and kind of like inspect it and be like, huh, well done. And he'll kind of like grab your head and give you a little tussle and give you a scratch on the back. It's very good job. <laughs> Thank you. You have, <laughs> yeah, you have found a hidden doorway. Oh. <laughs> just see, see, see what you Man, imagine if you got better, Abigail. Wow. Imagine what you could see. Arlington. I'm having quite enough difficulties right now. Is it because you actually have to breathe for once? That's a big portion of it, actually. Just, it, it goes like this. You go... <sighs> like that. It, it shouldn't be that difficult. All right, let's go. <laughs> Follow. All right. As you guys head upwards. I'm going to take a moment. Um, uh, I'm gonna, uh, touch myself and cast Gift of Alacrity. Gift of what? Gift of Alacrity. One of my spells. Gift of the Lacking Three? Yeah. Okay. What is it and what does it do? It, it lasts for eight hours and it just gives me, uh, plus 1d8 to initiative rolls. Not bad. That's all. Not bad at all. All right. Indeed. Ah. Uh, all right. Um. I just I'll just I will look at Albania. Though. Okay, so I think it might be good to like figure out what's ahead. So if we get to an area where we're not sure if it will be safe or not. We should take a pause, and I can scout ahead for us. Very well, small one. That's fair. I would um. I would like you to be careful, and tell you what, uh, I will let uh, Abigail come over here. I will let you two figure out how to open it. If you, if you get stumped, don't worry. I I can take care of it. But just this is practice for you, fledgling mages. Oh, okay. Why are you saying to what? Fledg your fledgling mages. 
is what he called you. I'm gonna go ahead and cast so, a knock. You're gonna cast a knock. All right. What does Abigail want to do to try and open this uh, hidden door? Push on it. Just push on it. Yeah. All right. Well, no. Okay. Wait. Wait. No. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not checking for traps. Okay. Abigail goes up and just pushes on the door. And um, the door goes... <laughs> and slides backwards. It sounds like something's unlocking. And then it slides backwards and then to the side, almost without any effort on your part. No, that's so... <laughs> I hate it. Sir Wellington, you're fully aware your spell knock is what opened oh, okay. this. <laughs> but as far as Abigail knows, she pushed on it and this thing opened on its own. <laughs> okay. I, I, I just look up at Alberian and give him a big smile. Oh, he's grinning right back. Gives you a wink. <laughs> he goes, you're quite the mischievous little bandit, aren't you? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Well, <laughs> with that out of the way, let's proceed. And um, Alvarian's two uh, apprentices are, are just kind of following behind. They have one has uh, a staff out, the other a wand out, and they're kind of keeping an eye out. Um Dolores, almost forgot her name there for a second, because, you know, oh, dare who you. cares about her? Hey, uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, this is how you get Naz really fired up. You say you don't care about Dolores. Yeah. Um, Wait, was that the one house, who got killed? Uh-huh, and brought back. And then brought back. I didn't realize they got brought back. Yeah. Of course, because you can't kill her. She's too powerful, too amazing, too cool. You well, can't also, she had a finger she... cut off and regrown by Albarian no. on night yeah, one. Yeah, but means... like it's mostly Along because, with everyone because else. It, it's, yeah. it's because she has plot armor. Well, technically, everyone in the landing party does because of the fact that Albarian did that to everyone that first night, and everyone rolled okay, so everyone's their fingers off. Oh yeah. yeah, you missed that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did so he regrow our? So did he, he cut did, a yes. finger off and then regrow that finger that was cut off? Yep. Yes. He did some oh. mass regeneration healing that night. <laughs> he used up a lot of spell slots. But everyone who landed, the like the forty or so people who landed that first night, um, that was why I had everyone do perception checks that first night, is to see if they might wake up at at that. And I don't think anyone rolled high enough to to wake up. Um, Y'all were level one. I wasn't expecting anyone to pass it. I think Kieran almost did. Kieran woke up but didn't see anyone. Um, he uh, just heard someone going, go to sleep, go <laughs> to sleep. Was like, okay, just hide. <laughs> Don't look at your hands. <laughs> go to sleep, My finger you looks oddly bitch. fresh. Go it's to like... sleep, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so t- now that being said, the other survivors who showed up later, they do not have said plot armor. So don't tell Sulky this, but Callie's brother. Does not have that because he was with a different group. Uh, you hear that, they Selkie? didn't get cloned. <laughs> so if they die, that's kaput for them. It's he okay. didn't show up early on enough. <laughs> oh, quote of the night right there. That is good. Right at the forty minute mark. I will mark that for later. That is that is a good one to <laughs> save. <clears throat> so what would y'all like to do? How are you proceeding in? I take it Sir Wellington is taking point. Hmm? Oh, Abigail has no dark vision now. Oh, yeah, no, oh, she does. This is her first you, time experiencing darkness. You walk in and it's oh. pitch black. Huh. Now, now you wish you had Marcus's flashlight. What the fuck is going on? 
<laughs> Someone has cast a spell. Why am I only a little bit blind? Oh. What do you mean? Oh, you're well, right. In the back, it's light, but this way, it's all black. Um, Abigail, uh, Dolores leans in and kind of like puts her hand on your shoulder. Uh, <laughs> she I doesn't think, know. I think you're experiencing human vision. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is human vision? It uh, means you can't see in the dark, little one. Yes, but, basically. But how do you do anything? Everything. It's how do called you... get. It's called. It's called learning. Learning the spells you need so that you can do it, or. Or, you know, another really good thing to do is called having a torch on you. We don't need a torch, you just see. Yeah. Well, you might have been. This is why, now you this are is not. why humans tend to sleep at night. <laughs> what the fuck would you sleep at night? Because, because sleeping see. is because sleeping is nice and, you know, uh, sleeping is good and then cookies are good and and yeah uh, it's 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 a fun time what did you used to do you are awake and alive during the night time yeah, okay what did you do whatever you want to do it sounds like you just sat around and did nothing, which sounds boring. You should have been sleeping. Sir Wellington, it depends on the day. There were a lot of days where, yes, that is what I chose to do. But there were a lot of days where I did other things. Okay, so just so you know, uh, if, if you choose to do that, I just want you to know it's okay to admit you had depression. Um. And it's like <laughs> if you just weren't willing to like get and move around and you're just awake constantly, it's okay no. to it's okay to be vulnerable like that with your friends. Oh my gosh. Sir Wellington. This is ridiculous. It's probably because you didn't have cookies, huh? I didn't want cookies. You want a cookie now? And he holds out a cookie. Yep. I hate that I do. I really hate it. <laughs> <laughs> His smile gets even bigger. He goes, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, this is hilarious. This is a perfect transition as um, back in the Feywild, uh, Marcus, you barge through those bushes to find a small tree with windows and a door built into it. There's some smoke wisping out of the open windows and the smell of Freshly baked cookies wafting through the air. Uh, uh, the door swings mommy. open. Oh, shit. And a small fairy flutters out with a raccoon in tow. Uh, the raccoon is walking on his hind legs and has a little unicorn horn. Wait. And Okay. Okay, keep going. And is carrying a plate of cookies. And I assume this definitely looks different from. <laughs> oh, from I, the monster I, thing? Yes. From the marker thing? For Marcus is like, okay, this is the same thing, but this is weird. <clears throat> Why is there. He's just. Good luck. <laughs> Uh, he's. I assume he's just bursting. This he, is. You're the, looking at something very fey right here. Okay. So. To start from my him gun is like, and he's just gonna like hold on, let me actually roll. Nope, that is a nat one. He does he so I, I did a wisdom thing so to see if he can like stop himself. Oh if he can like keep it together. He doesn't. He is staring at this creature who like briefly reminds him of the things Robotics came into, and he is just Still, like, uh, like he, he is. He, you could, you body... could take a gander that if this, if if Sir Wellington the Proteus, 
has um been coming to and from the the fey wilds um this he his what his form could be like a a mutated base off of whatever this creature is okay you know he is still his body went into fight or fight response he has chosen freeze (laughs) <laughs> That's what is happening right now. Um, the the little critter kind of stops uh, and just stares right back at you. Cookie, right about to go in his mouth. Uh, set, set, uh, ha! You blinked. Uh, I won. Th- what? You blinked. Wait, what? Was it not a staring contest? Uh, no! It, 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 what? Hold oh. on. Oh, he's just gonna like start just kind of hyperventilating, just lean on chair. Oh, one second. You just look a lot like. Oh. He's gonna like trot over and go. Mm. Hey, want a cookie? Uh, uh, no, 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 nothing. Uh, why do you? Why do Anyone, you? Like so any much? of you want a cookie? Remember what They're I freshly said. Freshly baked. Remember what I. Roll why persuasion. Do you look like so <laughs> okay. Why do uh, I what? That is nineteen. He says, "Why do you look like Sir Wellington? Why? Why do you look like Sir Wellington's form? Like, oh, I am so confused. Like who? Uh, no, no, I'm child. Yes. Uh, hold on. Uh, okay. He just stares at you. <laughs> Uh, I don't look like a gnome. No, no, no. Uh, I know you don't. I just, I knew a little gnome child. Name, his name's not important right now. Name Sir, well, Sir Wellington, but I guess that's not his full name, so. Okay, it, Sir Wellington. And, uh, well... He kind of looked a little... Well, he looked a lot more demonic, but he, he looked a little bit like you when he kind of ripped off his skin. His just shoulders are just going to, like... Sh- he's going to, like, take a couple steps back just, and just, just lean uh, over the way and go, fairy and go, he's freaking me out. Uh, you're freaking me out! <laughs> the fairy will fly forward and be like, um... Hello, uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, can I get you anything? We just baked cookies. Uh, I, I'm fine. I just, I just need to take a breather. I, I just uh, did, did a small gnome child kind of. Right. Wait, Sir Wellington has reddish hair, right? I'm trying to remember. Uh, no, it's black. It's black. Black. Okay. It, I'm it's, like, it's, 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 it's like a. Uh, dark charcoal gray blackish color. Okay. So, and Marcus can assume that uh, Sir Wellington has visited here before. It's quite likely, yes. Quite likely. Like, Just... completely likely. <laughs> okay, like not like 90%, he just needs confirmation kind of thing. Yeah. Um, so, I'm well, sorry. Uh, yeah. Mm. But, uh, Sorry. Do you? And he's gonna point to the raccoon unicorn thing. <laughs> the gonna, fairy will like flutter in front between the two, just protectively. No, no, no. I, I'm not gonna hurt. I swear. I just did a small gnome child, like very dark hair. Ever visit you? Really likes cookies. All that business. Who wants to know? I'll take that as a yes. Uh, I was actually traveling with that little... Okay, I would say he's a gnome, but he kind of also turned into an archdevil. Or rather, he was an archdevil that disguised himself as a gnome. I don't know. A lot (laughs) happened to me today. Really? Yeah. And one of his forms imitated my friend here. Yes. Uh, look, 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 almost exactly like yours. If he didn't have, I, I will admit that is very pretty uh, horn. I do got to say that that does look good on you. But he had sort of like, like stereotypical devil horns and looked more just 
evilly, if that makes sense. Huh. Well, he's not around here now. I, I definitely am well aware of that. So, wait a minute. He's going to look to the unicorn thing. How long has Sir Wellington been visiting you? Wait, did you know what Sir Wellington was? Uh, yes. You knew he was an art. <sighs> At this point, he's going to... Everyone knows this guy has a fucking harsh devil other than me. <sighs> All right. Gosh. Is there... I am just... I have a bunch of survivors. We just been through an island that literally is burned by hell. We need to just get somewhere else. Is there a way out of Valia? Well, there absolutely is, but you're not going to like it. I assume that already, based on my luck. What is it? Do I have to fight an arch? Do I have to fight, like, I don't know, Fagot or any one of them? No, 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 no. Um, I... You may have to do a few favors. Hmm. Do something to help us, and we'll do something to help you. I know I'm going to regret this, but... Okay. Depends. What is the favor? We need help obtaining an artifact. Already don't like where this is going. What kind of artifact? It is a magical stone that does what it will help us in a quest to protect this realm and, and just to understand when you say protect it means protect this realm and don't I don't know invade somewhere else by chance of course not. Why would we want to invade somewhere else? It's perfectly nice here. The cookies are better. <sighs> he grabs a cookie off a plate, which is as big as he is. And just... Okay, I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. So, find this magic stone that protects this, th this place specifically or all of Thalia. And I, I still, I still feel like there is going to be a catch to this, but let's let's keep hearing it. Well, we need a couple of favors. So the first favor is helping us with that. Uh, the mm -hmm. second favor is answering a few questions. Depending on the questions. Very well then. Do we have a deal? He extends his tiny hand as he flutters in front of you. I'm like, they don't. Yep, nope, there's no, I mean, there's no real rules for making a deal with Faye, but that's just like, not, it's not good. That's, uh. And what sort of guarantee do I have that me and my people are going to be all right and you're not going to try and swindle us? On my word, as a baker of delicious cookies. Can I insight really quick to see? <laughs> Just, yeah. Go for it. I know it's a fable. but like, Marcus <laughs> would still do it. He's like, I do not trust this. Oh, okay, not too bad. Uh, oh, wait, no, that's the same. Uh, 27. This guy seems to be as on the level as a fake can be. I mean, he's hard to read. It's definitely hard to read. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as you can tell, he seems on the level. Okay. <laughs> yep. 
yet I saw that, so you know, not funny. <laughs> and does Marcus know if making deals with Faye like has any magical punishments or anything like that? Uh, roll religion. Okay. Uh, that is a 22. Oh, that's uh, true. It might have some magical ties. So um, I just remind me of something, I don't know. He, uh... Making a deal might require you to fulfill the deal. Um, All right. I mean, that's not too bad. So he, he will look and go. You have my word. As a baker of delicious goods. And and the, the little raccoon peers around and goes, and the power of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks and goes, find magic stone. Answer a couple questions. Anything else? Mm, he'll kind of like look down to the raccoon. He goes, try my cookies. <laughs> just a vein is going to just start to pop. In his head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's going to just center himself. All right. He's going to hold out his hand. He will clasp it and shake, and as, as he does, you just feel a little ripple of magic flow through your body. Yeah, your I got just kind of stand on end. Yeah, I got love. I hate that. <laughs> Looks like we have a deal. Yeah, try a cookie. <laughs> uh, all right. I guess as I'm eating, what kind of questions do you have? And he's just going to like just kind of slowly <laughs> just bite into the cookie. <laughs> he he leans in menacingly. He goes, tell me about this devil. But, all right. Not exactly a question, but I can't answer that. Uh, and he just getting okay. What was the name? What was Pro Prometheus? I always confuse it with Prometheus. Proteus. Proteus. <laughs> Proteus. Okay. He's gonna take a bite and go. Well, holy shit, that actually is really good cookie. Anyway, uh, so this devil uh named Proteus, I believe. Uh, we just been calling him Sir Wellington. Uh, he has been with us ever since we crash landed on Gashale. Now, if you don't know, Gashale is this land that uh, got ravaged completely by devils. No, I, I am aware of it. I'm aware of it. Um, okay. I'll... How long have you been traveling with this uh, demon child thing? It's been 11 months, 12 months. It's been longer More than that. Because a... we, we've been on there for a year. Yeah, you've I was been, about to say like yeah. over a year at this point. Uh, he go, he, look, he thinks and goes a little over a year, with varying moments where mm -hmm. I couldn't find him. Mm -hmm. Did they ever go missing for a period of time? Yes, they did. They did. Ah, so Selkie's um <laughs> not pleased with Marcus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? I... Really? So, possibly up to some nefarious acts when you weren't around. Did you ever experience any additional troubles, especially when he wasn't around? Can Vargas think of a... I mean... Hmm. Roll history. Yeah, let's just roll history. Okay, that's... Uh, what is Marcus's history, actually? Like, Marcus is literally my smartest character. That is a 17. He was conveniently not around for the Were Demon attack or the attack on the fortress that day with the uh, blood monster things. He's going to think spawn. and go, right? Well, there was a couple. There was 
with the were devils. Like there was this town that was full of people that were were devils, and he was gone during that. And then when we were invaded by those blood monsters at the thing, holy mother! He's just gonna like kind of realize, and go, fucking idiot. Um, uh huh. Uh huh. And uh, when did they reveal they were a devil? Not uh, about thirty minutes ago. Thirty minutes ago, you were with them. Thirty minutes ago. Well, wait. How long has it actually been in game time? It's it's yeah, about that long. Yeah, about thirty. Why? Fascinating. And uh, where did you last see them? In the dungeon of the Archdevil, I kind of banished back to hell. And then they kind of tell he kind of teleported out of there. Interesting. Okay. How did you get here? Uh, there was a portal. We need to kind of all jump through it. That may not have been the smartest idea now that I think about it. <laughs> Fascinating. Did he, he, did he do something to the portal? Am I going to start sprouting something out of my stomach? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Hmm. Quite fascinating. Okay, okay. Well, um, no more questions for now. For now. Uh, come, 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 come. Everyone, everyone, come gather. Eat, eat, enjoy, enjoy. They are good cookies. I'm a good cook. Uh, while they gather around to eat, uh, let us pan over to a dark room where, uh, just like in that scene from Lord of the Rings, you just kind of hear the tapping of a staff and then <laughs> the gemstone lights up on the top of um, Alberion's staff. <laughs> yeah, I know, Marcus said don't eat the food, and it was the first to eat the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good job, Marcus! Um <laughs> Albany hey. kind of turns to, to Abigail and goes, Is this better? Can you see now? See. Excellent. All right. Proceeding forward. Can I get perception checks from Abigail and Sir Wellington? Hmm? Oh, net 20. Ooh. So 21. My perception is balls. But, Beautiful. You know, I see did... to the best of my ability. And what did you see, uh, Abigail? 15. 15, okay. Abigail. You can't see beyond the little ball of light that's around you guys. But you do hear footsteps coming down the stairs from above. Sir Wellington, you know for a fact there's about six individuals coming down the stairs. how many of us are there and like like how many of us players are there oh uh there's like, a total care, of like npc two. like there's a total of six there. of you okay uh so it's six on six I, yeah I quickly go uh a very I don't, there are, there are, uh, he's quietly whispering, there are people coming, I don't, I don't think it will be good to, um, to, to, to let them see us, so I think it might be good 
to um to to like for us to try to make things uh invisible i can if i get half the group can you get the other half um you might actually be able to get the whole group let me see <laughs> uh, I can actually get everyone. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. Then we just... Uh, we just slowly go up and, like, stay out of sight. Very good. He will cast Illusion. And you all... He will... He will... <laughs> Sorry, Abigail. Well, yeah. He will... How long did... Put... Mm. Turn mm. off the light and cast invisibility on all of you oh so there's no light no i'm the only one who can't see why did he cast illusion now you know how marcus feels why did he cast illusion did i say illusion yes i'm sorry invisibility he cast invisibility you said illusion, then you said he turned off the staff, and then you said he cast invisibility. Sorry, no. He 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 turned off the staff and then cast invisibility. The illusion was a okay. mess up. Okay, cool. I was very confused. I'm like, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, well. Sir Wellington will uh, slowly move forward with being invisible like very very slowly Foxy's then I think I was just gonna walk in a straight line if she hits a wall she's gonna hit a wall okay Sir Wellington pauses turns around and goes okay here and he like pulls out the back of his to- his cloak and goes hold on right there and uh, just follow I I don't know where there is. She's kind of like he, he, gr- he grabs your hand and like puts it on the like back of the cloak. <laughs> just, just re- we're gonna walk really slowly. Just follow and try to be quiet. Uh, can I get a perception check from Abigail? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they get the wrong cloak. He's rolling like absolute shit today. Ten. Okay. Uh, everything seems normal <clears throat> about this little gnome child. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. All right. I'm following. It's not going to go well. Not going to no, go it's well. Not. It's no, no, not. no, no, no. Going to be bad. Bad, bad, I... bad. Okay, we're looking for allies we don't know who they are yep. but we know that they can cast banishment yeah i can cast banishment too but maybe we should shut up and just move right now right so can uh, uh one of the apprentices will cast pass without a trace on everyone so everyone roll heck yeah uh this, spell so much. roll stealth and then you'll add 10 to whatever you roll. Yep. So Whoa. here's a question. Because I have Skulker, do I also get advantage on this? Yes, you do. <laughs> I love that spell so freaking much. One of my favorite as a ranger. It is a good one. 33. 33. Sneaking. You are sneaky. sneaky. Sneak 29. 29. Wow, how did Abigail get higher than you? Because I, have I only six. I have I have a plus two to my stealth. Huh. I I don't have Wait, what does Abigail have, have to herself? I don't plus have six? a high dexterity. Oh damn. I I basically have putting everything into intelligence and constitution. Fair enough. All right. Um, wizard. <laughs> fair enough. That's that's perfectly fair. All right. Uh, everyone else did all right as well. And as you guys slowly go up, a armed patrol of undead 
walks down the stairs past you, heading towards the exit you came in. <laughs> they Moral are... conflict here. <laughs> <laughs> they are <laughs> Those literally... are my superiors. I can't be deceiving them. <laughs> <laughs> roll a uh, yeah. roll a uh, no, no. saving throw <laughs> oh, for Abigail. Okay. Well, what kind of undead? Okay, I uh, will. They are a uh, mix of zombies oh, and wow. skeletons. It's a 24 for wisdom save. All right. For a second, you're like, I should turn myself into them. And then you go, wait a minute, what am I saying? These guys are these guys are just, they're zombies. They're skeletons. They're just they're, zombies. I can control I them with my necromancy. Yeah, I can control them. I, I am the superior undead. I'm, yeah. No, I'm not undead anymore. And by the <laughs> time the you superior. round your way back to that, they've already left. They're past. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> it's too late to turn yourself in. I, I can control them if we need. And why, why do we want to try to do stuff if we can just keep moving forward undetected? Don't you no. think no conflict is good conflict? No, sometimes it's fun to move shit around, <laughs> but okay. Uh, I we'll agree, but but those things don't look very nice, and I would I think that Albarian would agree as well that that you know it's probably best for us to just go quietly and try to find the people, and if we need to save people, that we save them. I mean, whatever you guys saw here, they obviously didn't get everyone if they are just casually walking around. Okay, I'll just go. Uh, as you guys work your way up the spiral staircases, I need everyone to give me another perception check. Jeez. Skill challenge test. Skill challenge. Oh, net 20. Thank you for carrying that's on the two perception. Net 20s on perception. For perception, this is like the. And this that's is, two I, 15s. Wait a minute, you roll the same thing yeah. twelve times, twice. Yeah, both that, of us. I, I, I will what tell heck? you what. If I, All right, if I'm session's gonna make... over, Peel. This is cursed. I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> this is this is like the one area like that I need it because otherwise I just I'm just not gonna be good. <laughs> that is most unfortunate. I also literally can't see, so perception is. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing that's throwing Abigail L off. Yeah. She actually okay. Can actually, like, okay, but light. perception isn't just sight. No, I know, but if it's sight based, eh. no, it's all senses: hearing, smell, sight. Yeah, but this specific instance. This specific instance is all. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So probably can hear and maybe smell something, but seeing would be a little bit harder. You just hear. Oh, excuse me. You smell it's... the fart. Of a <laughs> seemingly gnome child, but that was one uh, abnormally powerful fart. Damn. Damn. He just pressed the digitation to just change it to the smell of like flowers a few seconds later. <laughs> yeah, Flowery tracks. farts. Okay. That tracks. It, it, it smells like lavender now. Oh my gosh. Um so you guys hear another set of footprints Magical coming. Febreze. Right? <laughs> you guys hear another fit of foot uh, set of footprints coming. Uh Sir Wellington, you pick up this one is about a dozen and they are more heavily armed. What the crap? A bear there's more coming. Everyone give me another set of stealth checks. Again Same thing, the pass 10. without tra <laughs> yep, pass without tra trace is still active. Oh, oh, oh. So you what? I don't even need to roll again. I got a net twenty. <laughs> Holy <What>? cow! <laughs> Dies tonight. <gasps> yeah, this is Abigail. Like the best roll I've had all campaign. Abigail can't even find Sir Wellington at this point. I'm holding on to him, <laughs> or else I can't see. It's like how does it feel so light? It's like there's nothing there. <laughs> I right. got a t thirty-five. So I got a thirty-two. <laughs> it's a good thing you did, because as you proceed here, um, give me a religion check. Oh, okay. This well, time it is a group of fiends that walk by, various devils. Oh, uh, I pissed off the fiends. <laughs> Ten. 
<laughs> Can both of us roll? Yeah. Okay. Religion. Okay, Tony, you had the cleric you here. Oh, never brimstone mind. And hellfire. <laughs> I got it. 22? Oh, yeah. yeah. Sir Wellington, you're not quite sure what you're looking at. You feel like you should know. But you don't. Um, Abigail, you recognize that smell. That is the smell of a bone devil. Something you probably would have worked uh, on summoning at some point in your uh, wizarding career, I guess you could call it. Um, they're pretty common for summoning, but they are fairly powerful. And uh, not ones to tangle with unless you have them trapped in a summoning circle. Uh, it is leading... It is leading a s about ten other devils of various middle and lower ranks. And behind that is one more devil that you're not you're not sure what kind that is, not what species that is, but it's definitely of a fairly high rank. And they appear to be heavily armed for battle. Sir Wellington you can tell with the nat 20, they're looking for someone. <laughs> this is guards are on high alert situation. I wonder who they're looking for. The moment, okay, so the moment they pass, um, I'm going to quickly uh cast Rary's telepathic bond. Alright. Um and I'm gonna connect all six of us. Smart. And we're gonna be like, okay, so now we can talk in our heads and they can't hear us. Fucking hell. I hope this doesn't last long. <laughs> it lasts an it lasts an hour. Okay. Wait, oh, hey, you is there is there a reason that you don't want me in your head, huh? Many. That's not very nice. I'm sorry. There should there be should I lie? I would love to have you in my head all the time. Okay. We can find a way to make that happen. Okay. <laughs> But but I did think that this was probably better to do than us talking out loud because now we can actually communicate even if there's people around and they, since they can't see us now they can't hear us and we can properly plan and communicate and figure stuff out. Right. All right, can, well, I get, can I get one more perception check from y'all? Yes. As you guys continue winding up these stairs. Do another nat 20. I'll do another nat 20. I would be whole. Oh, I did. Oh, no, that's a six. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> I was so close. That would have been so funny. Yeah, it's another nat 20. <laughs> <laughs> what even? <laughs> This is this is an all time record. We should have been doing combat for this one. You are right. perceiving. My perception is off the charts, man. Yeah, like, doing, doing, doing. Um, it's like Abigail, I love being invisible. Abigail is, is her foot is going down. It's about to land on a pressure plate. I stop and want you. Oh, stop! Da, 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 pressure plate. What? what, what? Okay. Oh. He just slightly moves the foot over so it's like doesn't land on that. It's like, okay, you can step there. And then he's like, he's like, tells her, all right, guys, there's a pressure plate right here. Don't step on it. Good work. Albarian kind of like leans over and gives him a thumbs up. Thank you. 
All right. Let's keep going. Ducky, I know you're trying to hurt me in the in the Discord chat, but I'm gonna hurt you back. What? Sorry. Sorry. We're just we're crying over my own Kermit still, so Oh fair. All right. You guys make it up the rest of the stairs without incident. Okay, so now are we in like a like actual common area, like in like within the castle? Yeah. Okay, he's gonna like Sir Wellington's gonna be like, all right, guys, we need to go and like hide off into the corner for a little while. And I'm going to scout ahead for us. Okay. What do you want to scout ahead? Because we don't know what's here. Look, I got I got the thing. Then I can use... Um, it's, it's like... It makes this little, like... This little, like, thing. And it floats around. And I can see in my head what is there. And then I can share with you guys... Uh, what is going... What I'm seeing. Okay. So he's going to have us, I'm going to have, like, he's going to tell Alberry, he's going to cast Arcane Eye, and they're going to, like, they'll move off to the side, and he's going to, like, like, spend the next hour, essentially, just scouting th throughout the entirety of the place, uh, seeing what all's here, see, and also trying to see if, uh, the portal he's looking for is here as well. Um. All right. Um. So this is this is Sir Wellington's arcane eye, right? Yes. Okay. As the arcane eye moves upward, so as you guys get to the top of these stairs, you find yourself in a small armory. Um. You can hear some guards talking through a closed door, and there are more stairs going up. You send the eye up through those stairs? Or uh, check on the guards look, in the adjacent I'm going to have it check on the guards in the okay. armory. Just, like, pop under the door, look around, see what's there. There are a few devils in there that are kind of relaxing around a table. Um, discussing in infernal recent events. Hmm. What are they saying? They are... Uh, oh, ready, speak that. Um, yes, I do. They're kind of talking about... Um, hmm... Not to worry. If anyone can find him, Uglet can. Uh, but that's presuming. I don't know why they're Cockney. Apparently they're Cockney. <laughs> that's presuming. That's presuming Proteus doesn't get to him first. Oh, I suppose that's possible. It doesn't necessarily mean it'll happen though. Okay, one, one kind of has a higher voice, and he's like. Well, it does not like, matter. As, we killed a lot of them. As they're talking, uh, he's going to just telepathically respond to the others. He's like, they're talking about someone named Proteus and someone named Ublek, and they said they're looking for someone. In that case, we should be extra careful. No one knows any of these people? Nope. I... I, f I feel like I've heard of Proteus before, but I I am not sure. Where? I heard about him like a few weeks ago from 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 a friend. Marcus. Yes. You can roll hey. inside if you want to. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> was a. <laughs> A long pause. 
That was I, a long pause. She never rolls well on insight, so. Watch, this is going to be the one time she rolls good on insight. <laughs> Not 20. Oh! That's 22. Okay. <laughs> He's clearly leaving out information, but there's oh, really? truth in his voice. Okay. I mean, she's, I don't think she's, okay. Nothing that's relevant to the situation? Well, look who it is. The what? I was so used to Wellington. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know that this was where Proteus was, and I mean, the... I don't know a whole lot except for the fact that it, it is a a uh an archdemon who I guess was yeah okay. pretending to be something else. Okay. And that's what who they're looking for. I I don't know. They just said they that that Proteus is looking and Ublek is looking for someone. Basically. I don't know what they're looking for, but obviously they trust Ublek or Proteus. I don't know. Maybe they don't. But it sounds like they they have faith that these people will find whomever. Okay. Well, what are they saying now? What what are what have the guards been <laughs> saying? Just continuing to discuss methods of torture they're planning for these prisoners okay. once they get them back. He's like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter now. Um, and he's gonna have the eye keep moving on. As the eye gets up to a certain point, um, it there's a fork in the staircases, so there's kind of a little plateau there, and it, one goes back down, and then another goes up. Um, okay. So I am at an area I can go up or I can go down the other way. Which way should I go? No. Uh, can you hear either option? Is there any activity in either one mm. direction? Can I can I tell if there's anything going on in like I'll go near to the like either there... side? Appears to be distant muffled sound up the stairs and more potent sound uh talking coming from down the stairs. There's more talking coming from down the stairs, but there's muffled some stuff upstairs. We're going to do both anyways. Yo, yeah, which one do I start with? That is up to you. Okay, we go down. We should maybe maybe we get more information. As it goes down, you kind of come into this room. It opens into a wider room. It kind of goes down a couple of stairs and it opens into this wider room. Uh, there are a lot of scorched bodies in there. Um, some you recognize the... as former members of the um, uh, other survivors. Uh, others are clearly... Not fiendish, they're humanoid in nature, but you don't recognize them. Those would have been people who had almost escaped some, from... Some stuff happened in here, and there are people that we know, and they're not they're not doing well. And, like, Sir Wellington's, like... Ooh, yep. Mm -hmm. Not... Like, he's in, like, shock seeing there what he's seeing. A number of I'll bodies... I'll be right back. Okay, there are also a number of bodies of the mutated, formerly missing kids from the uh, landing party. He, he recognized them, he goes, yeah. Well, they're in. Whatever was there, we need to find, because it's not okay. This is not good. Very well. I mean... 
All right, we'll go up and we will clear there first. All right. What? Uh, in this area is where's the talking coming from? Uh, there are a number of devils piling up the bodies. Okay. And they're discussing the battle that just happened. Uh, also discussing ways they would like to torture the survivors for what they did. Killing their experiments, a.k.a. the missing kids. Yeah. Um, are there any other doors or things like that in this area that he can see that are open or things like that? Yes, actually. Give me a perception check. Okay. I swear, if you net 20 again. <laughs> I did not. I'm back. Oh. I, I got it. I was going to give you god tier knowledge. <laughs> I got I'm a just... 14. Yeah. Oh, just so oh, everyone wait. knows, Amanda loves all of you and says Aww, hi. Aw, hi. Yeah. Send her love to Amanda. We love her too. They all send love to you, honey. <laughs> Through. A cracked door, you see the corner of a portal. He goes in there. He he, he tucks the eye in there quickly. Uh, there is indeed a portal to a lush green land. That's... Yeah, I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! Okay, we need to go down there. I, need... I found the portal. I need to close. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go quickly, and let's go quietly. It's all in the. It's all in the area that there's. Not, not prepare yourselves. I was not ready to see what I saw, and I don't think I'm. No, if I'm ready to see it in person, but I saw it, and mm, it's not good, guys. It's really not. Well, we'll be careful. We'll stay quiet. And we'll deal with this portal and then sneak back out, okay? Okay. He uh, cancels uh, the arcane eye. All right. I um, need... How long do they have on the invisibility? You guys have a couple minutes left. I... Let me see. Because it lasts an hour. Uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. You guys have a long time left. You've only been going up these stairs for maybe like 15 minutes. Oh, cool. You cool. guys have like 40 minutes left. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. All right. We're gonna we're gonna head upstairs, and and do the things. All right. Can I get one more stealth check from both of you? Yeah. Okay. Abigail, you now see some light. As it, there it, are some is is Pass Without a Trace still happening? It oh, is wait, I have, I, I have Skulker anyway, so I get the advantage. I, I rolled a nat one, and I need Ooh. that advantage. 20. 17 yeah. with that. So with the things, let me double check. 29. Nice. Yes. Uh, what'd you Thank roll, you. Abigail? 29. 29. Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you guys <laughs> stealthily move through you're still invisible you go up the rest of the stairs you go down the next flat set, set of stairs until you come to this room where splayed out before you is a grisly scene abigail all the kids that went missing the day of the attack on that fortress here is what's left of them along with a number of individuals you don't recognize and a few older members of the shipwreck survivors who had at least lasted this far. Um, heavily charred, not looking well. Or slashed up from some sort of divine blade-like energy. Uh, there are a few piles of ash, which uh, make a religion check, both of you. Okay. By not looking well, do you mean dead? Oh, no. As in... Five. Dead, uh, 21. But like pretty. Like fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty fucked up as well. But they're all dead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Very 20... dead. 26. 26. Okay. Um. And what did, what did Sir Wellington roll? 21. 21. 
Uh, yeah, these piles of ashes are what's left of demons, that, uh, devils that died, and their their bodies turned to ash as they returned to, um, to, to return to the hells to regenerate. It's not right. They get to regenerate, but our friends don't. keep quiet until we're in the next room but um no they they still they have rarities oh right well. right 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 um, so I'll, all, all their conversations for the that hour should be within their true. heads that's true albarian in that case will will reply uh actually um these ones here will be regenerate well not all of them but there are a good number of these here that will be regenerating ow I may have taken some genetic samples without r requesting permission from the survivors who spent those first few nights on the coastline with us, with me. He looks at, uh, up at him, squints, and goes, mm. I was in that group. Yes. Does that mean I'm going to regenerate too? Anyone among us who perishes will their soul will transfer into the clone body that I have grown for them. And Does that mean I'll have all my memories? Or will it start from a shipwreck? No, no, no. You'll have all your memories. Uh, all the way up until your death. Actually, unfortunately, you will also remember your death. Um, Bless you. Yeah. Okay. It might be well, a bit traumatic, but you will be alive. Uh, the, everyone here that was with us that first night uh, is currently in the care of my other apprentices who did not come with us. They are um, back at uh, my mansion. If you do it seven more times for me, I could say that I'm part cat. I'm not sure what the limit is on cloning someone uh they're very... but obviously cats have like now we say they have nine lives so if i did that i would have nine lives could so then would an... i get to you get what i get to be cat could you give an insight check for me both of you actually no oh, she okay. gonna suck again i, I do good <laughs> she sucks six Oof. <laughs> oh, oh this is not good he's gonna be like yeah okay uh eight <laughs> eight okay uh he pauses and it's a little bit weird but then he continues so probably nothing's wrong but when you when you ask about cloning him multiple times he kind of pauses in a weird way for a split second but uh with everything that's going on you don't really pick up on it it okay. just it just happens <laughs> and he just kind of pushes it aside and ignores the question. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I think cool. we, should, we should get to the um get to the portal. Okay, it's right it is right through here. And he's just gonna like he's going to very much like kind of hold up his hand and like try to like avoid looking at the corpses more than he needs to, especially with the fact that there it's he's he recognizes uh his friends that went missing and he wasn't sure where they were all right like it's it's not a pleasant mem like thought for him like yeah i'm gonna in, how would i roll i'm gonna roll a wisdom saving throw okay for empathy for empathy Interesting. but is it like is it like if you roll high you would feel empathy, or roll low, you would feel empathy. You decide. Roll high. You decide. I think. Oh, never mind. Uh, how do I decide? It's just random. Do you, Do you think Do you think it would need to be a like? Are they trying to feel empathetic or not? She's not you. She doesn't. She's not used to it. It's just. She's like, not. Yeah. So what I guess what I mean is like, you know that you should, but you're not. Like, so when I do my, uh, mm -hmm. like, checks for impulse control, like, if it's high, then I with withstand that impulse. Because I know better, but it's like that area where you it's like, to, yeah. I want to, but I know better. 
So if it's high, I I have the willpower to withstand it's, it. If it's yeah. if it's low, then I don't. But so she's it's not air, trying it's, it's to air. not. So if you're not trying to, I would probably go with the higher one. Like if it, it's yeah. something where you're just trying to see, I would probably go with the higher one because you're more likely to get high than you are to low as you get higher in levels because you have your pluses. Okay. Okay. Apio feels empathy for like the first time ever. <laughs> She's gonna like register Sir Wellington, I guess. All right. Doing that and not looking, and she's kind of one feels bad for him, and also recognizes that she's done that to some of his friends. And mm, what to do about it? What should do about it? She's just gonna like kind of like she's still holding on. Or, or do we have the lamps on now? Uh, no, you're in a lit no. area. So okay. yeah, we're in a lit area. It's dimly lit, but it is lit. They have torches okay. up. Yeah, they're, they're we're we're now we're no longer in a tunnel. We're in we're in the castle. Okay, she's just gonna kind of like kind of like awkwardly like kind of pat his shoulder and be like. I'm Sorry, Sir Wellington, telepathically. <laughs> well, at least I know that they they are regenerating, and so that's good. I just I I hate to think about the fact that whatever happened here, they have to remember it. Is that's not fun? Like, there's things I wish I don't have to remember, but I do, and it's not. It's not nice as he makes his way. I'm guessing he's at the door now opening it. Are there are there still like the devils and demons in the room? Oh yeah. Oh, then he's gonna very stealthily try to like open the door enough that he can squeeze in. Alright. <clears throat> um so that would be a 26. Yeah, you you sneak in. <laughs> okay. Is that is that including the uh pass without trace that's still active? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you very stealthily sneak in. You are now no, in this yeah, room. No, yeah, it was a six, it was a 16 and then I added the 10 so 26. Fair enough. You are now in this room alone with a portal to the Feywilds. Wilds. I take out the ruby and just yeet it. All right. Um, perfect. As you do that, uh, you throw it into the portal. Uh, Matt, can I get – actually, and, and Selkie, can I get perception checks for uh, Callie and uh, Marcus? I'm yeah. Okay. Ilford. Ilford. Oh, okay. Nat, 20. <laughs> 25. Nat 20s with perception tonight. Nat 20s with perception. This is an all session, and you guys are nat 20ing all over the place. Hey, I'm going to say, if I'm if I'm going to get nat 20s for anything, in all honesty, like, unless it's, like, vital for, like, the combat, I think my favorite times to get nat 20s are for role-playing. Yes. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. same, honestly. As long as Both. I hit in combat, I'm fine. Uh, Nat yeah. plays and role playing though is amazing. I mean, I will say though, as a barbarian main, Nat twenties are great though, especially with the extra mm -hmm. damage. Oh, anyway. I'm not saying that they're not great. I'm just saying. No, no, I know, I know. I, I, I'm just saying, like with with the barbarian class, so there is that added thing. Like, yeah, Nat twenties in combat fair. are great, but like a barbarian specifically, trust, a trust me, as someone barbarian, as someone who played in a <laughs> Rogue Assassin Hexblade Warlock mix. I get it. I get it completely. There's those are great, especially Nat 20 on initiative rolls and such. Like when you get the when you get the sneak attack and then you get the assassination. 
mm-hmm. and you're you 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 have your rapier, but as a hexblade warlock, you're a charisma based rogue, and you put all your like, uh, what you call it, your stats into charisma, not dexterity, but with hexblade, your rapier yeah. gets you your plus from your charisma anyway. So all that stuff just yeah, it gets dirty. It's fun. Yeah, that may yeah. But yeah. Anywho. So what did Callie get? Yeah, what did Callie 12. get? Twelve. Twelve. Well. Uh Callie is focused on cookies. Yep, yeah, stealing cookies. Oh no. Marcus, you, you hear don't have to steal them is my guess. Right. Um, you hear a shriek back from the direction oh, no. you came. Sounds like a pterodactyl just got throttled. Okay. And the sound of glass shattering. Okay, he's going to immediately go investigate that. As you come back through, the portal that you had come through is gone. There wasn't anyway, a portal there anyways. I need to amend that because the portal was still there. There are two parts to this portal. Well, okay. When you you said when they exited out the portal, they couldn't see it. There was there, the, people were just popping through, in like appear. I did, didn't I? That was a mistake. Yes. That was a mistake. So the portal did appear there to them when they came through. Oh, but only when they came through. It was just like briefly there, more or less. You, so it was they, like whoosh. Yeah, yeah, whoosh. yeah. It was yeah. opening and closing. Um. They hadn't tested to see if they could come back, but now scattered across that area is shattered glass. Give me an arcana check. Okay. Arcana is... Uh, That is a 19. All right. Someone shattered the portal you guys came through. There's no going back that way now. Bullshit. Ah. Uh, is going to say the go. Oh fuck. Cuz he rem- remembered the red portal th- red diamond thing that the face just told him. And he goes, "Uh, you remember that thing about red diamonds or rubies going through portals?" The, the the fairy just kind of flutters up by him. Uh, yes. He's going to point to the... Ooh, fascinating. Looks like one's already been taken care of. It... I mean, to be fair, it was connected to a very bad area, but still! All right. And he's going to go immediately to... We don't even know this fae's name. I mean, he wouldn't give him a name. But... All right. First off, what can I call you? Because I know I, it'd be kind of rude to just call you Fay Raccoon or something like that. What What can we call you? Uh, you can call me uh, Kevin and this Ehanala. Kevin and Hana. Right. Kevin, Hana, pleased to meet you. Now, can we get started on that uh, that magic rock kind of thing? Because we may need to get out. We we just need to get out of here. Of course, of course. Yes. Uh. Well, follow me. We mm, just need uh to make a quick uh stop by uh the place we need to steal it from, and then we will be on our way. Wait. What kind of do the would Marcus know if the Fey have like cities or settlements or anything like that? Oh yeah, absolutely. They do. Okay. He's going to go through his mind and go, wait, what? Can't... Where exactly are we going? Uh, he has already zipped off ahead into the woods. Oh, by the gods, I've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, what about the others here? Are they going to be safe from, every, from any other fae? They should be fine as long as they stay near, the, stay near my home. All right, uh, Everyone stay near this. Stay near Kevin's home. Can't believe I'm trusting a thing. Uh, 
Callie, Dahlia, do you do you do you two want to come along? Yeah, I'm not saying put. <laughs> what? We're going right. to go places. Then uh, we're going. Right. Uh, Dally, honey, do you want to come too? I think so. All right, that's three of us. Uh, who's the most... Is Sorsha so, will oh. bring a couple individuals with her as well. <laughs> okay, so apart from Sorsha and the individuals that she's bringing, who seems like the most responsible? Well, there are a couple individuals among those staying behind. Uh, some of the older survivors of Histon's laboratory who would probably do well. All right, he's going to point to... Okay, we're going to go for away for a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get out of here soon. You just make sure everyone stays here. At, at the very least, here they'll be safe from any other fae, I think. So, look at a gesture and be like, Yeah, yeah, we got this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, we are going to go help a fae. And as he says this, he's turning around. He is disbelieving that he is actually saying this sentence. As you guys head off into the woods and um, Sir Wellington loudly shatters glass in the room right next to a bunch of devils. Um, that is where we will leave off for the night. And um, we will be back again next week. I think you're off that week though, Ian. Yeah, I'm, it's the one time where it worked out for a camping trip. So we're, that is all oh, right. cool. we're going to be camping. We'll simply put that side of the story on pause and follow those in the Feywilds for now. Um, oh, so outros, uh, don't worry, Selk, I got you. So Selkie came in clutch at the very end to, to play Callie. I was going to lead into something a little bit more traumatizing for the party, but I decided it would be uh, wiser to wait until um, Selk was feeling better. Um and could properly uh, enjoy playing her character through that scenario. Um, so we'll be picking, we'll be doing that next week. Um, that should be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure they are as well. Um, especially Selkie. Selkie is our fake spurt, fake expert, something like that. Yeah. Fake um, spurt. Fake spurt. No, that sounds like something fake. That's not right. No, fake spurt. Fake spurt. Ah, I like that. Um, Naz. You play yeah. Abigail. Would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> is that it? Yes. That it, my, <laughs> I, my name is Naz. I play Abigail. <laughs> All right. Uh, da, 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 Marcus. Uh, yep. Matt playing Marcus, who is really cool. Like if he's not questioning his life as it is before, he definitely is now. So yeah, he's having a fun time. All right, last but not least, Sir Wellington. Hi, I'm Ian. I play Sir Wellington. Um the the your your resident uh new MLB pitcher of the year. <laughs> Yes, yes. We'll need to clock it. See, that was 92 miles an hour. Good it's not pitch. Bad. Not bad, no. All right, and I am Mr. Markham, your shenanigan sovereign dungeon lord for Lost Continent, Survivors of Kishale. Um, I wish Selkie a speedy recovery. Uh, I'm so sorry work was rough. Um, and I wish all of you a wonderful night and to stay safe and stay lost uh, but not too lost uh, as i did on my way home took a wrong turn typed in the wrong directions and wound up driving for two hours for what should have been a half hour drive home so it's been oh, a damn. rough day um and gas is expensive just a little bit lost yeah yeah but one seller uh have fun with uh Gashale and starfield that sounds really fun 
uh, I need to get my FPS working so that Starfield runs properly for me or just mm. get a new computer. Um, so, yeah, you guys stay safe and have a good night, everybody. Cool.